Hello, welcome back. In this segment, I will quickly show you a demo of how to add two polynomials, Galois field 2. Let's take example a of x to be a polynomial x power 7, x power 6, x power 4, and 1. b of x to be x power 4, x square plus 1. When you add these two polynomials, you can see x power 7 as it is, x power 6 as it is, but x power 4 goes away because x power 4 plus x power 4 is 2 x power 4, but 2 x power 4 is same as 0 in gf of 2 because 2 is same as 0 in mod 2. Okay, so in Galois field, the coefficients can only be either 0 or 1. So that explains why we don't have x power 4 in the answer. x square will come here and 1 plus 1 is 2 because of this property, 2 will be not written. So this is the answer. Okay, so how do we implement this? In, or just you have to use the exclusive or operation. Suppose your polynomials are a and b, all you have to do is return a exclusive r with b. Okay, that's all. This is the code that will do the trick for you. And why is this working? Let's quickly do a demo. First of all, define the polynomial x power 7, x power 6, x power 4 plus 1. How do we do that? Let me write it here just for quick reference. a is x power 7 plus x power 6 plus x power 4 plus 1, right? This is a. And b is x power 4, x power 2, x power 1. So these are the two polynomials we need to populate as integers, two different integers, of course. This, this will be our a, this will be our b. Okay, let's do that quickly. Okay, that means we need to use our set bit routine and set the seventh position, sixth position, fourth position, and zeroth position, okay, for the constant one. And for b, we'll do the same. We do fourth position, second position, and the zeroth position. Now let's see whether we add these two numbers, gf to add a comma b okay okay what do we expect the answer to be the answer should be let me write it here the answer should be uh, c is a plus b which is x power 7 plus x power 6 plus x power 2 that's it x power 4 should not be there because x power 4 plus x power 4 is 0 1 plus 1 is also 0 so this is the answer so that means we need in the binary representation seventh bit to be turned on sixth bit turned on, fifth bit zero, fourth bit zero, third bit zero, second bit turned on, and then x is zero, constant is zero. This is the bit pattern we expect to see. Let's, let's see whether we get that when we print the C in binary. Uh, let's see, bin of C, in Python we can do bin of C and get rid of the zero B that is leading. Uh, we don't need that. Okay, this is the four plus four eight. Okay, eight bits, you can see here one, one, zero, zero. 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. Fantastic. So this is how you add two polynomials. It's straightforward. The expression is C is equal to A exclusive R with B will give you your polynomial addition in GF of 2. Okay, Galuba field 2. So nice that XR operator can be used for this purpose. All right, that's a quick demo. And now let me quickly define not only addition, but also subtraction. What do we subtract two polynomials? It's possible that in this case, for example, if you subtract, you get minus x square, right? X power seven will come, x power six as it will come, but you get minus x square. There's no notion of minus in Kalua field. It's either zero or one. The coefficients are zero or one. So what is the meaning of minus one in Kalua field? Minus one actually is, main, is just same as one in Kalua field. The reason is simple. But if you recall the definition of mod, A is congruent to B mod C if C divides the difference. Okay, so in this case, the difference is minus two. Two divides minus two. Therefore, wherever minus one occurs, we can put it as one in our expression. Okay, that means A plus B adding two polynomials is same as subtracting two polynomials. That's quite an interesting uh, observation in the context of Galois field over GF of two. A of X minus b of x is same as uh, a of x plus b of x. Remember, coefficients are either 0 or 1. So if you get a minus 1, you should replace it by plus 1 because minus 1 is congruent to 1 mod 2. You can also view it like this. I was supposed to draw a circle, but it came like this anyway. Um, here is a 0, here is 1, right? There are only two bits on this uh, clock. Um, if you subtract, you go anti-clockwise one position. So zero minus one, okay? Minus one means from zero, you go one step backward. That means you end up with one. So you, you see here, I have it here, that's all. Subtraction and addition, there's no difference in, in Galua field. That is an important property. 
okay, in, in GF of two. All right, um, so in this segment, I have explained to you how to add two polynomials, how to subtract two polynomials, and addition and subtraction can be implemented easily using the exclusive R. So I have shown you how to do that, for example, in Python. This is the notation for exclusive R. All right, thank you, that's all.